Well, hey guys, uh, so he just showed up with the new gear, and as you can tell, there's a substantial difference between the old and the new. See how these are kind of square? That's what you want. This one is junk. All right, so I'm gonna start cleaning stuff up and get ready to put stuff back together. This, this one here needs to go away. It's kind of junk as well. Okay, and I've got to go pull the bearings off these counter shafts. Go ahead and do that, and then I've got to mark my teeth. You'll see right here. I'm going to clean the, these up too real good, but anyway. Um, you'll see two marks here. You'll take a, I take a straight edge and go straight down. That way I can mark my teeth out here. So I'll show you that in a little bit. All right, guys. So just to start out we'll just kind of take her a step at a time for some of those i i've watched videos on these transmissions before and I, and i've done them but it's it's nice to refresh them I mean, those guys they just it seems like they just one guy he's sitting there playing music the whole time doesn't explain anything and so this is your i call it the reduction gear mark a tooth there and you're going to go completely opposite 180 degrees what I do is I take a straight edge. It should be that tooth right there. Then count the teeth. Get my paint marker to cooperate here. One, two, I might be off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Okay, no, I'm right. I have the same amount of teeth uh, between between the two, and I got carried away on that one. That's for damn sure. That's damn paint marker. Because, I mean, if you're like that, if you was on this tooth, you wouldn't be centered. You, you could see it in the center here. That one there, you're perfectly centered. So you know that's, that's the one. Take it and mark it. Okay, all right. So then take your main shaft get it cleaned up take your washer doesn't matter whether it's up or down take your washer slide it on the shaft like so take your gear slide clutch collar teeth go down take your this spacer right here Go like that. Let's go get a new bearing. Ah, uh, let's see. Where is the new bearing set up? Right here. I have to put a little oil on this bearing. Kind of pre-lube it a little bit. And I don't use. I don't like to use Lucas <laughs> on these to pre-lube or anything because it makes. That Lucas is so thick, it'll it'll make you think that something's wrong that you did, because it'll turn really tight when you're trying to turn it, and you'll think there's something wrong, and it's just that damn Lucas is so thick and heavy. Okay, so these do go a certain way. Okay, so you'll see there's a long roller and a short roller. The short roller bearing goes towards the top and the long roller, roller bearing goes down here. I need to find some oil. Hang on a second. Okay, so we pre-lube that bearing. Take her just like that. All these other videos, all these guys got all the fancy drivers and all that shit. 
uscirà magari è uscire I got this thing called an air hammer and I hit it on the inner race and just push the bearing on Just don't hit the cage. There it is. Then your spacer goes on there. Okay. So now that we've got that, we can go ahead. Another thing we can do. Take our this gear, you have to mark this gear too. Same thing, 180 out. I found it's easier. And I just count them to verify that I didn't screw up. Should be that tooth right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17, 18. So that one's good to go. Go ahead and Okay. That one's marked. All right, so I got to go over and press these bearings off the counter shafts. So I always put these in before I do anything. That way I do not forget them because that's been known to happen. And all four of these are the same. There's nothing different about them. this with this counter shaft that way we don't get a mix-up going on here with a new and an old bearing because I see an old bearing let's throw the old bearing on the ground it's a good place for that okay okay so I should have a I thought I had a hammer out most of the time these don't go in they're slip fit kind of Most of the time they go right in, just like that. Okay. Okay, let's just get this little bar here and just kind of bottom them out. Bottom out in there. That's it for that one. And what I like to do is go ahead and put these on right here. And what I'll do is I'll get it on this piece of wood over here. And drive them on with my hammer.
Come on now. Basically do the same thing to the other one. And those washers are not shims or nothing like that. Basically, all they do is keep the counter shaft falling out when you're going back to, when you're pulling it apart, so they don't fall out on the ground. That's all they really do. I'm going to throw. These bearing races down here that way you don't get a mix up. Mark the timing marks on these counter shafts. Ah. Okay, let's mark these. We'll see two marks up here one there one there okay i'm gonna be marking both those teeth all the way down and i'll show you what to do after that okay and take you a straight edge if i can find my straight edge what did i do with it right here these can be a little bit tricky sometimes I get them like this and face them the opposite way and then look straight down and then I take my straight edge and I go straight down the shaft okay just like that it's gonna be these two right here they're kind of, it's kind of a tricky thing it really is It's not very hard to get a tooth off. Trust me, I've done it. Okay, new synchronizer assembly. Um, it's kind of a piss poor way to do this. But, uh, I don't have a squirt bottle or anything with this 50 weight in there. Just get them wet. The thing with it is, I've I've run into a situation before where I didn't pre lube them. And uh, when you go to air shift it and test it before you go with your final assembly it'll hang up so it really pays to pre-lube the friction material on the synchronizer before you completely put it back together I need to get a squirt bottle or something to do this this would be a lot more efficient than this way that's kind of a chicken shit way to be doing that but I'm in a hurry, as always, because ain't enough of me to go around. Okay. So let's set our synchronizer assembly up, huh? Take your 
This is going to be for your high side here, and it'll have the springs will go in here. It'll come with new springs. And one just fell out on me because I wasn't paying attention. Okay, so I got to get the low side. Am I going the right way here? Uh, this is going to come up against... How's the old one set up? I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. See, I get screwed up too. Okay, that goes. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. The bevel goes down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. See, and it won't go. It won't go on these other holes. It won't even line up. So you can't. You can't really go wrong there. And those will come up against your pins right there. And I put a rag down because it'll kind of hold it. There it is. Okay. That'll shift. All right. There we are. Okay. Synchronizer is together. That probably wouldn't even hurt. I'm run out of room here. This bench ain't very big for this, but it's all I got. Take your. Oh, shaft! Now the spacer is going to fall off, obviously. Don't forget to put it back on there. <laughs> like that. And take your synchronizer assembly. I'm going to put just a little bit of oil on the ID of the reduction gear. Synchronizer, and obviously this part is on the low side. Just like so, okay. Okay, so we got our new gear here. I just slid it on. That'll go onto the, this side of it will be the high side. This side will be where your splitter is. This, I always put red Loctite on. And there's a dowel pin there. And that'll line up with that. Lots of clutches and transmissions here lately, I'll tell you what, man. Okay, next step. Okay, guys, so I've got a... I'll show you what I got here. I got a piece of pipe that I made a long time ago. For these things, let's slip our main shaft over. Spacer back on there. Get our piece of pipe specifically made for this. up now. And 
that's going to go around there. That one lines up with that one, and that one lines up with that one. Let's move some of this shit out of the way. Comes Josie. And then... What's up, girly? Trying to see what I'm doing here. A little bit dark right there, huh? Uh, something ain't right. Do I? What's going on here? Sure, that I'm 180 on this one. Uh. There we go. Make sure the bottom one is lined up. That looks good. Right. going to be up on the top splitters on the bottom so it should be hang on a second I guess it really doesn't matter right now as long as I I can turn that when I get it in there there now we go our range. We live this bearing here. to do the range cylinder reseal it so we know we're going to be using that gasket this is your tone wheel your tone wheel is actually what's going up against your seal and that'll go in here like so like that the washer will go in there just like that and let's come over here I already got my o-ring on the shaft and come on camera stand up Here's my o-ring right here. Take this and go like a so. And the tone or the 
speed sensor was on the very top of the transmission. different size lengths of bolts. I think we got everything except for that one. Okay. Alright, so we got the splitter uh, yoke and or clutch splitter fork and the clutch collar down in the splitter gear. Okay, we need to go this way. All right, so on your bearings here, make sure your bearing race is seated all the way. Um, make sure you take a punch and just tap these in make sure they're seated all the way take a depth mic which I've already done and measure from here to here right here I've got 35 thousandths and my gasket is 15 thousandths so the original shims are going to work 50 thousandths and what did I do with I'm losing my mind here. I had the bearing cap. Uh, what'd I do with it? I had it cleaned up and the gasket ready to go and I set it down and who knows. There, there we go. Scatterbrained. And you'll know if you don't got it right because the output will be really hard to turn. Trust me, I've done it. I've got off a tooth on my marks and had to pull it all back off and redo it because I was off a tooth. You'll know it because it won't want to turn on the output. Okay, I'm missing a couple short bolts for that. Uh, another thing that I'm missing the gasket kit there was no outer gasket for the range sonar there's a gasket that goes here with a hole in it for air feed and it wasn't in that kit so I got to go back there and see if I can find one and all the shit I got laying back there well I got it sitting down uh, you'll know I got it in gear um, you can do this, you can put a shift knob on here and air check these, or you can do it like this too. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just do it like this is the simplest way. Let's see if this is going. I want this one here, bottom one. Take it off and we'll shift that fork back the other way. If you're if you have trouble rain shifting it on the floor and it won't go in, I mean, it should go clunk every time. If it won't do that, you're out of time. 100% guarantee you you're out of time. If it won't air shift on the floor, you are out of time. Okay, let's go back here and... This is going to be the supply to the slave valve, so... I'm going to hook the spaghetti line up and do all that shit. I can just pop these two lines off and just shift that range fork back and forth. Mm. 
Okay, so. turn out here because you're in low all right I grabbed my shift knob still not 100% I should hook an airline directly into this it'd be a lot better I get a lot I got a lot of leakage coming out of there I wonder if I can uh, use this one Would that work any better So she's good to go. Oh, come on. All right. Shift knob. All right, guys. So I'm going to crane it onto the jack and start dragging it underneath. Well, guys, it's about 6 p.m., and I was going to try to finish it tonight, but then I I looked over there on the... I was putting the battery box in it, and I just happened to look up there on this left front steer axle, and the wheel seal is out, and it saturated the brakes and everything, so I called him. I said, what do you want to do? He said, well, let's fix that before I... He said, fix it tomorrow, you know, let's go ahead and finish it and fix that wheel seal, so... We gotta do a wheel seal tomorrow. I guess I'll get back with you and make sure that uh, I'm pretty confident the transmission should work just fine. Like I said, if you air check them on the floor and if the yoke turns, just based off experience, usually they're gonna work. So I'm pretty confident with that. But anyway, I'll check in with you later on this one. <laughs> 